Where are you from? The government calls it Turning Point Reserve. We call it home. Your eyes, they tell a story. I first found beauty in your eyes. I feel like the weather outside, changing, challenging, tired of fighting for my worth. Darlene, I want to say to you that I have been haunted by Stellar since I saw it at TIFF. Absolutely haunted. I think of it often. It's because it's it combines a surreal with with a kind of reality and juxtaposes that next to the natural world. And the subject matter is just so profound. I mean, wow. How did this take shape for you? Well, thank you. Um, yeah, no, it was like, it, it was an interesting time because I originally wrote it as a short story. And so, and I was also going through the process of um, starting to leave a very long relationship. And so yeah. I think those combinations of just, um, you know, being in, in a space where, you know, you need to leave and um, yeah, having hope, you know what I mean? That, you know, something is going to, to change so it came from that and then as indigenous people we don't see a lot of love we don't see a lot of sex <laughs> for indigenous characters and oh, so yeah. it like abroad so we wanted I wanted to really just start talking about that you know in a way that um was really positive and that it was um that it gave hope he and she are in a bar and uh, it's a very strange bar, it's in Sudbury. And we're learning about the creation uh, story and how the earth was rent and how he and she had to put it back together again. And these two seem like, if I'm getting it right, it seems like these are the two least likely people to do that because they're not out there sort of, you know, helping and, and fighting thing, fighting the fires that are around, they're, they're sitting drinking. So tell me mm -hmm. about that. I just really honestly, I thought about these two really like in a way broken characters who are trying to find their way um, in their own lives um, and then try to find each other. But the fires and everything that's happening around them is really kind of their past and their future and, their, and the moments that are there. So, wow. you know, looking at colonialism, looking at residential schools, looking at what has happened realistically in their lives, um, into their communities, the, this was, the, the metaphors were that all of this is still at them and they can fall in love. Yeah, they can fall in love, but there's nothing they can do about the past fires, I guess. Yeah, I can make this moment last a little longer Staring at your curves and falling for every word I never thought I'd say that love could be the answer Baby, now I know it's you who lifts this curse I'll give you my all if you say I was thinking I was tired But then I realized it's not exhaustion It's the narrative that continues That is tiring yeah, so the nature scenes, uh, in context of the film, they made me a little bit sad because uh, the profoundness that I got from the film uh, just uh, sort of sparks that realization, you know, that nature is kind of doomed under us. And I thought that was a brilliant juxtaposition. Part of my work has always been around the, like, so I'm from my community as a Tikmikshi Anishinaabe. So Sudbury is currently in our territory. And so our history and our story has been from um, when the railroad came in and they first found um, high price <laughs> and, and like the, they found minerals. And um, so there's been mining in our areas for a long time and it's all been pro about profit. And so taking as much as they want from the land. Yeah. and not really giving it back you know what I mean there's been you know throughout the years there's been reforestation but realistically this is the environment that we are all surrounded by is the scars on the land you know from taking from the industrial um taking from forestry 
everything's just being taken and taken and taken. So Water. I wanted to yeah. represent that in their stories because that's where they come from as communities. And so, um, so yeah, so I wanted to be able to see that realistic and, and give those character an understanding and, and, and our viewers an understanding of their home and their reality, yes. you know, yeah. the beauty and then also the um, destruction that's happened to the earth. Teeny tiny little cramp bar with a couple of few characters. And that increases our sense of anxiety about what's happening outside. What was it like for you maneuvering in that space with the actors? Yeah, no, that was really interesting, especially shooting during a pandemic. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> yeah, so um, it, it definitely had its challenges. And I, I actually think that it, um, one, the pandemic, but also those small spaces for everybody to create in um, really gave an understanding of of what was how to how to do it right so down from design down from the clothing costume we had long conversations about that and how to how this space um kind of as narrow and as small as it is that there was still all of these things that were around it so um and I think it helped all of the crew understand you know what I mean that kind of feeling of being closed in um, and it was really hot in there. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, yeah, but the, you know what I mean? The design of the bar was so beautiful and so great. Um, and our costume, I mean, our um, our director and uh, Taya um, Holtz, she did such an amazing job in, in recreating these ideas. And um, so when me and Matthew Sege, the DOP, um, we found so many spaces that we can, you know, it, it's uh, it's it's unbelievable how much you can move around a small space and still be able to. So we gave ourselves a lot of rules where it's like we didn't go behind the bar till a certain time. Oh, there's there's colors that, you know what I mean, that we didn't see until near the end. There was never any green until everything started to regrow. Um, and then just there was urgencies of those flashes and all of that in the, came in. And then when we worked with Steven Sangster, our um, our special effects, it was just really um, kind of like, okay, now we're heightening it on another level. So it was really it was really beautiful to be able to collaborate in that way with all of these people and just to, to let that happen. Well, the result is just breathtaking to me I mean I can just see it in my head and the language the visuals the the um back and forth the sort of in and out of realities and it was mysterious it's a little depressing at times it's very hopeful at times there's just so much in it um how close did it come to what you saw in your head before you started so visually all of that was like kind of in my head and um when we started to um like just kind of like starting to create it on levels and more levels and more levels you know we went back to characters we went back to the you know the idea that this was um this was a city and it wasn't their city um so those unfamiliar but familiar spaces like a bar can feel you know like it could be like you know coming into a space that's like you and the bartender and you know the people around and you're dancing and things like that but yet it's not your space too so right, right. We played with a lot of those ideas and and really started like understanding the characters and the motivations around it we were shooting in that but then there was an added part so all the time we were shooting with this green screen and so for actors to motivate themselves and to um, create those emotions and those directions around a green screen is just really, you know, it just shows how brilliant they are. Um, and um, yeah, and just allowing those characters to, to play in that. That's great. And you know what, that, about that bar, it was really cozy to me and That's I wanted right? to yeah. stay there. I wanted to stay there the rest of the night, you know, it was, it was, and that was kind of comforting. Nice. Um, and I'm wondering, um, is there a plan yet to send the film out into the world? Or are you working on that? 
Yeah, so right now we'll, we'll start our theatrical release and then Canada. Um, we, um, yeah, so then we will go on to broadcast with Crave and uh, CBC. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm still looking for US opportunities and we did a fantastic festival um, release. We started at TIFF and um, managed to, um, we had a great um European debut in Finland. Oh my God. Yay. And then down in the States in Santa Barbara. And, and just like, it's just, the audiences have been really amazing. And I think that's just the beauty of what the, I love being able to like walk in and, um, and, and having people experience and, 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 you know what I mean? Feel that, you know, ultimately feel that history and feel that understanding, but then feel that love and that hope. And yeah. Yeah. Well, you succeeded. It is one of my thank favorite you. recent films. So thank you so oh, much. Thank you very I much. Appreciate it, Darlene. Oh, yeah. Gigandana, Wawa Nejiki, Yeva.